Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Renee again from Sayatisi Kimono. On Instagram, I asked you this morning if you wanted to see a possible unboxing because I got not one, but two packages in. And for me, that's a lot. And the surprise, well, the results weren't that surprising to me. Like, a hundred percent of you wanted to see it, so I'm filming this for you now. I initially wanted to do it on my phone, but I'm not sure how good the quality is going to be, so I'm opting for this sit-down video instead. So I really hope you, can, you guys can hear me because the construction downstairs is going on full blown. It's really loud, so I'm not entirely sure how much uh, you can actually hear in the background or if you can hear my voice at all. So the packages that I got. This one is um, that I got from Euro Japan Auctions. Now, the company itself is uh, from Japan. They're like a middleman service that, uh, that allows Western buyers to buy from um, vendors like uh, Euro Japan Auctions that don't send to addresses that are outside of from Japan. Like, you have to have a permanent address in Japan in order to buy from Euro Japan Auctions. Given I don't live in Japan, this is my way to go, and from Japan is the company that I use. So this package is from them. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's definitely over two kilos. So let's open this thing up for you guys. Like. To the back there so this is pretty much the content that is inside the bag so we got the first one here so this is the possible really long or white one I don't know I can't remember Synthetic. I knew that, but so this is the first. Come on, show up. Oh. It's like it's not a full um, summer one. There's actually ah here, here we go. There you can see some chrysanthemums as well. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to wear this like the afternoon, take some pictures for next week. It's okay, seasonal challenge, so sneak peek for that. <laughs> I believe this is the kimono that is very, very long, but I'd have to measure that again. White, I don't know what it was. So, as for costs, um, I don't think I'll be telling you how much these were but all of them they were under 1500 yen like I had to bid for these and all of them like, were underneath uh, 15 so like 15 bucks ish the out uh, the shipping way was way way more expensive not to mention the customs But at least on the huge Japan auctions, like you can get kimono as um, as cheap as one yen, ten yen, fifteen yen, hundred yen. It's not that expensive. It's the the fees and the domestic and the international shipping that's the most expensive. So in the end, you pay as much as you would on Ichihoya or any other kimono selling website. But you you get much more unique items for that. Just take a look at my shamisen hiki. That's one of the things you just wouldn't necessarily find on um, 
watches like eBay or Ichiroya. And if you do, they're quite expensive. They're not 200, 300 bucks, whatever I paid for it. So. Oh man, that's excessive packaging. These are even in individual bags. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six bags. That's a little excessive. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> beautiful green color some open pans and these are like autumn grasses let's see if it has more I think there must be like bell flowers these little red flowers I suppose these shapes are like butterflies so that may what make it both in an autumn and a summer, of summer, a uh, spring kimono. How common that is. That's pretty cool. I really, really like that. So, on this one. Oh, man. Woo! This is definitely Rinzasik, like you can actually see the shine. Oh man, I did not see that on the, the listing uh, photos. That is super soft. Oh, the crap, that shine. That is beautiful. Again, all season piece. Show up the flowers, you have cranes, like plum blossom. I'm not sure what these are though. And these. I suppose they are like stylized cherry blossoms, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure. And these seem like stylized chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums and cherry blossoms. Again then pretty well all season kimono. Oh man, I can just... It's so, it's so soft. <laughs> I'm really happy there. I'll definitely put uh, I'll put them on afterwards. So you can see what they look like. Even if it's just quick throwing them. So that's the first package. And um, the main heavy bulk. So now I got a package from Ichiroya. That's probably my number one favorite um, kimono selling website. I've been buying them for probably ever since I started. I, I think the um, the OB design sheets that I got on my wall were from them. I have to look it up because I think they are. That means I've been buying them for almost nine years now. That's a lot. That's a long time. So I'm just gonna cut this one off. There we go. So put these aside this one here. I love these um, 
fabric uh, pieces that each joyer usually sends with along with what, you know, your order basically. I don't do much with them. I send them to a friend who sometimes uses them in whatever craft projects that she's working on that particular moment. But uh, yeah, I oh, I'm always curious what they will be sending me this time because each time is different. I've had really beautiful dyed fabrics, plain fabrics, woven ones. This one is vaguely familiar because it might have been uh, same pattern or whatever. So yeah. Then the actual package. So this is a fabric bolt and a obiage. Like I'm really curious about the obiage. It was kind of an impulse purchase, but yeah. about Ichiroi is, well at least that's what I, oops, oops, <laughs> the way that they package the things, like they really pack it really compact, but it almost, is it like a present of some sort? I don't know, I, I really like it. Oh, this is beautiful. Soft rings of fabric, yeah, lemony yellow. Oh man, that's stunning! And it's autumn design as well. I got an idea. does that look? I may try this afterwards. Let's see if I can make it look good or something. Make them look good sitting there together. Because yeah, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, they, they, they do show up. The beautiful maple leaves and autumn grasses woven in. For eight bucks, that's specifically nothing. It's it's not entirely like floor free. It does have a couple stains. Hope you can see that. Yeah, there we go. But only a really small percentage of the obiag is actually visible. So for me, it doesn't matter at all. So I'm. For that, uh, well, kind of an impulse purchase, and only being, being eight eight dollars. Yeah, I couldn't be more happier. And then the last one is this fabric bolt. Like, call me crazy, but it kind of reminds me of those uh, flannel blouses that I don't know American farmers would wear. This may be a little bit stereotypical, but I come from the countryside as well. Like I have farmer's blood in my lineage, especially on my mother's side. My grand uh, grandfather and grandmother, uh, maternal ones, they came from farmer families. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of those. Yeah, I almost want to say stereotypical American farmers. Please, shoot, <laughs> please don't shoot me. But yeah, that's the image that pops up in my head. Uh, because it's uh, it's not entirely red, it's more like pink, um, a dark pink. But yeah, it should make for a really interesting um, kimono and the hori because it, there's a lot of fabric. I believe it's like 20 meters. So 
there should be plenty for me to make a like an ideal length kimono. So yeah. That is pretty much all I got in today. Um, I hope you like it. I can't wait to go and play around with these. Like I said, I'll be putting some clips of me trying them on just quickly. And yeah. So with that, I will let you guys go and I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.